Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Everything in this video is found on the public domain and the full disclaimer is down below. Lots of love and many blessings your way. And a big thank you to my sweet friend Katya and Shoshana. I appreciate y'all so much. So much is happening. Let's get on with it. Uh-oh, Harry's feeling quite sad again. Y'all, he is literally whining to his friends. <laughs> All his friends are saying how sad and tired he is of being Megan's plus one in Hollywood. He don't feel like her spouse anymore. Hey, dummy, what Megan wants, Megan gets. You said it, not us. Seriously, what in the world did Harry think was going to happen? She's making him feel nothing short of the bus boy. He can run errands. He can do her laundry. He can carry her shopping bags. He's no longer her equal, you see. Here's the secret, Harry. You are never her equal. Never. Don't you know she's better than everybody? A legend in her own mind. You want to see? Harry's getting his karma, you guys. You reap what you sow. The British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is in ICU. With the sickness, we're scrambling around for a ventilator for Mr. Johnson. What did Harry and Meghan say? Nothing. Not a thing. They didn't send the first well wishes to him or his family. Instead, here's what they did do. They held back as long as they possibly could to announce the Archwell Foundation. Which, by the way, is totally unoriginal. Duh! That's Meghan. She's gotta always steal somebody's stuff. <laughs> I can't even talk about it. Okay, I'm trying to stay focused. Stay focused. Okay, they're saying that Meghan and Harry delayed putting off the announcement of their latest charity, the Archwell Foundation, as long as they could. They said the timing was just inappropriate. Due to the crisis and everything happening right now in the world, Archwell Foundation announced too soon. In the thick of things, it would not get the column inches it deserved. Does that blow your mind or what? Yet they're trying to come across as humanitarians. They don't give a flip about anybody but themselves. What best benefits them? Speaking of karma, you guys, if you get a second, type in their archwellfoundation.com and it takes you directly to Kanye West and his gold digger music video. How brilliant, how fitting, how perfect is that? They say she is absolutely mortified, as she should be. They said that Harry didn't find it as offensive. I wonder why. Is it because he's tired of being her plus one? And Pierce Morgan, he unleashed the beast on both of them today. And I agree with everything he has to say. Nobody gives a crap about their foundation. Nobody. We're in the middle of a crisis here. Listen, you guys, she'll go to any lengths to make things happen for herself. She's that desperate. According to my buddy Katia, a few days ago, the rating for this movie was a 2.5 out of 10. In a matter of 48 to 72 hours, it jumps to 6.8? Oh, I don't think so. Has anybody heard her narration? I have to admit, I listened to two bits of it. A total of four minutes, and that was too much. I totally agree with all the critics. She was emotionless. She didn't make you feel anything. Didn't blend in with the movie at all. And I'm not going to lie. Not just because I don't like her. It was awful. Terrible. But we're all meant to believe out there. It went from 2.5 stars to 6.8. And I'm talking 0.2 stars under the seven points that Dirty Dancing received. Okay. Or a complete star under Titanic. Give me a break. Really? And another complete star under the notebook? Oh, I don't think so, Megan. You cheater. That's what you are. You guys, it's right under the original Ghostbusters. Do you see what I'm saying here? Somebody's in full-on damage control mode right now. Okay, so here's what she's extremely upset over now. This according to her friends. Which, by the way, she's not helped a bit with this crisis, as she claimed she would. They say she's been way too busy trying to get her own stuff off the ground. And the article's right. She's the worst kind of snob there is. She is so mad at both the Queen and Kate and William, and here's why. Okay, so remember the other day when we were talking about the Queen hiring Sarah Latham as her communications director? 
And I was like, why is she doing that? Why? Anyway, Kate and William have now hired Harry and Meghan's former social media manager. Y'all, I'm being told that Meghan is so ticked off over this that she had Harry contact his family and talk to him about it. Now, according to my source, they said that the Queen told Harry directly, you're out of a legal contract with both of these people, so they're fair game. Stop being controlled by Meghan. <laughs> he tucked his tail between his legs. And he ended the conversation. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Y'all stay safe and be blessed.